Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. We are back here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We have the 4755 and our 1770 corn planter uh, here and ready to go. We've got the Ford F350 hooked up to our seed tender full of seed. And we are going to go ahead and fill up our corn planter here. Which actually holds quite a bit. A lot more than I thought it would. You can see on our right here, our oats field is uh, coming up. We'll take a walk through it here in just a moment. I'm going to shut that guy down. So we are in the second growth stage after just a month. Uh, so fields are looking pretty good. We're going to jump in this guy and uh, close up these covers. There we go. All right. And uh, so we don't have any liquid fertilizer in here. We don't actually need any. Um, this field is fully fertilized. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to get going. If I can drive. Um, we're going to get going here on planting some corn. I'm going to bring this HUD back up here for just a moment because we want to set up a GPS line here in a moment. Seems like uh, this tractor might be struggling just a little bit, but. Maybe not. I guess we have a max planting speed of six, so. <clears throat> We're just gonna roll with it here. Missing a little bit there. This field will definitely be a lot easier to roll because of it being in the mulched state. Um, that is definitely going to help us with our rolling. Oh, we have view on the uh, planter apparently. Ooh. That's kind of trippy. Um, even on regular ground, it's definitely a lot easier because the planters have a different plant or seeded texture to them. So that definitely uh, helps out a little bit. This is definitely a lot of work for this old girl. And I don't think it is all too happy about doing it. But, got to do what we got to do here. As long as it can make it through this season, we, uh, we should be in the cards for a new tractor next year. So we should have... Uh, a little better luck with it. We're going 
to set a GPS line up here. Oops, wrong button there. Or maybe we're not. We might have to make a completely new one once again. It's one thing that is kind of frustrating at times about the GPS mod. It seems to not want to always work. So we're going to set our A line right there. And drive ahead a little ways. Should be good to make a B. Perfect. And we'll save it. Pop over here. Auto width. We're going to be hanging over a little bit for this pass, but that's all right. We might actually shift it over here just a little bit. so we don't catch this other field. We'll straighten it out on our next pass here. Would have uh, helped to have had it work from the get-go, but I guess it doesn't always do that. And that other camera angle is just going to be annoying. I think this tractor is just barely, I mean just barely, above the uh, horsepower requirements for this planner. So, so that's uh, Probably not really doing us much for favors. But we will uh, get through it. I really can't see that in cab. So we'll uh, go around it one more time here and then we'll just rock out some GPS on it. Yeah, it's a little too difficult to tell the differences here. Just gonna grab this GPS line here <clears throat> and square off this edge a little bit. Just uh, the best that we can. It's a nice looking setup though, that's for sure. Field one is 
definitely going to take us a while at this rate. That field is massive compared to this field, and this field might even take us a little bit. That's what happens when you're running a lot of land, but you haven't gotten super far in uh, getting machinery going yet. All right, let's get this uh, headland business finished up here. All right, now we got our headlands all finished up. We got the field squared off. Now let's uh, do some good old GPS and get this field done today. We should uh, should be good to get her done. So, let's uh, have at her here.
Should I ever tell them how I really feel? Should I ever tell them how I really feel? Tell them how I really It's time to uh, get ready to tackle this big monster. I think this field is going to give us a whole lot of corn. Wait a minute. What in the world do we have sitting here? A roller? And an 8R? 1775? Liquid cart? What in the world? What? There's a note. Well, it looks like uh, our good friend Sean down at uh, our dealership has brought us some toys. He uh, said he caught me looking at this rig. It was sitting down in the dealership lot. He said he caught me looking at it and uh, thought that I might want to give it a go. And he said he knew that uh, we just did a bunch of land work this spring and uh, that we got a nice big field that we were planning on putting into corn. And he brought us some toys to play with. So, might have to give him a call and uh, see what we got going on with this. So, he brought us a Mandaco um, roller. Brought us a five drum roller over our three. And then he brought us this 8R410, 8RX, sorry, uh, this 8RX410. A John Deere 1775 NT planner that uh, is set up with fertilizer. Hmm. And then it's got this Patriot cart behind it. And everything seems to be full. Well, now that's a uh, very nice surprise. We're going to get this guy moved out of the way. And uh, we might have to give him a phone call and see what's going on. Um, I did move our 2410 chisel out of the shed. I'm not sure what was going on with it. 
but in the shed, every time I would load the game, it would be like out here. And the sprayer and the hopper trailer and the corn planter would be all sorts of jacked up. So I moved it outside and I put the uh, sprayer in its place there instead. But, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and give old Sean a call and uh, see just what he is smoking. Bringing this and not even telling me and just dropping it off. So I'm going to give him a call. And then I think tomorrow we're going to, or well, in a couple days here, um, when we come back, I think we might give this thing a whirl. So, alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, we'll catch you all tomorrow.